This clip illustrates the speed difference between the USB and serial port versions of Cami's Cable Eye Model M3 tester. For this demonstration, I've connected two testers to the same computer. The upper half of the screen represents our new USB model, as you can see from the status bar, while the lower half of the screen represents our serial port model. I'll start by clicking Test Cable to measure the cable presently connected to each tester. You can immediately get a sense of the faster measurement speed on the USB model by watching how quickly we get a response after I click Test Cable. This is the serial port model. This is the USB model. With only 128 test points in each system, as we have here, speed is hardly a problem with the serial port tester. However, if we had a 512 test point system connected, the serial port version would take seven and one half seconds to make a measurement, while a USB version would complete it in two seconds, a speed improvement of nearly a factor of four. High measurement speed is also especially valuable when looking for intermittent connections. Let me demonstrate that. First, I'll set each system to run a continuous test loop. This test remeasures the cable, looking for any changes in continuity as you flex the cable. I'll learn the cable presently connected to the system. As you can see in the summary box, it has 10 conductors and is wired one to one. Now I'll press the continuous test button to start testing. Every time you see this number increment, the tester has made one full combinatorial scan of all active test points. With the tester set for 128 points, 128 times 128 measurements are made, which multiplies out to 16,384 measurements. To exactly compare the two systems, I'll stop testing and restart both units simultaneously. Rather than using the mouse to begin the test, by pressing the continuous test button on the screen, I'm going to press the test button on each of the systems, my left hand on one and my right hand on the other. I'm going to stop when the USB model reaches 100. When you compare the numbers in these boxes with the upper box representing the USB and the lower the serial port, you can see there's practically a factor of three in making this measurement. Now I'll restart the USB tester and introduce a momentary short circuit to simulate an intermittent connection. You can see that a drawing appears with the intermittent connection highlighted. The physical location you are flexing on a cable when an intermittent connection is detected pinpoints the problem area. Finally, I'd like to show you how we can make continuous high-speed resistance measurements. For this demonstration, I've connected a potentiometer between two six-pin headers. I'll click Test Cable to make the measurement and then highlight the wire I wish to examine. Now I'll click the Continuous Resistance tool. As I turn the shaft of the potentiometer, you can see instantaneous updates to the display window. This function is very useful in locating small variations in resistance as you flex a cable or in presetting potentiometers to desired values in a cable or circuit. If you'd like to evaluate our new USB tester for yourself, we're happy to send you a demo unit at no charge for two weeks. Just give us a call.